Africa's most populous country is facing a serious threat. It's been more than three weeks after the first case of Ebola here, and now more infections are being recorded. It began with Patrick Sawyer, a Liberian man who showed symptoms of the virus on arrival in Lagos. Some of the people he had contact with are now in isolation after being infected. We have a national emergency. And indeed, everyone in the world is at risk of this disease. Nobody is immune. The experience of Nigeria has already alerted the world to the fact that any country is actually at risk because there's no country that is not reached by aircraft today. Despite government claims that it's up to the task, there are questions over the existing healthcare challenges, including a nationwide doctor's strike. Authorities are now trying to educate the public on taking precaution. Screening centers are in operation for passengers arriving at Nigeria's main international airports. There are even growing calls for Nigeria to close its borders to prevent more infected people from coming in. A meeting of the World Health Organization will decide whether this outbreak should be treated as a global emergency. The main thing consequently then is really proper facilities. And again, the proper facilities have been what's lacking in West Africa. Proper facilities don't lack in Spain or in the United States where these patients have been taken. You get them into isolation, you have the proper protective equipment for the medical personnel dealing with them, there is an extremely, extremely low risk of anything happening there. The challenge for us is West Africa. The Ebola virus is in Lagos, but so far the authorities don't know how far it's spread in this densely populated city. The deadly virus has claimed hundreds of lives in West Africa, and now Nigeria faces a huge task to make sure the infections remain at a minimum. Tomi Oladipo, BBC News, Lagos.